And right now on Connecticut's news station, bring on the raincoats and hang on to your hats. A rainy and windy start to the morning. Rachel Piscatelli and Sam Sampiri in the Weather Center this morning with what you need to know before you head out the door. Plus, three businesses ransacked on Orange Street in New Haven just minutes apart from each other. What one of the owners says the incident won't do to his love for the community. All local, all morning. This is Fox 61, Connecticut's news station. Six o'clock on this Friday. Good morning, sunshine. We're going to have to bring you the sunshine through the TV screen. Thank you for waking up with us here on Fox 61 and Fox 61 Plus. I'm Symphony Privet. And I'm Keith McGilver. You're ro matching the radar, the radar as we yeah. see all this green, <laughs> green behind us. The city of Norwich reporting a power outage impacting uh, about 1,100 customers or so. Norwich police reminding drivers that if the traffic lights are out, you must treat them as a stop sign. I want to bring you the latest numbers from Eversource as well. You're taking a look at the big board here. Those numbers at just north of 1,200 Plymouth, Coventry, Sherman, Glastonbury, Brookfield among the community's hardest hit at this point. And I walked in to work uh, just a short time ago. This is the capital city of Hartford. I was trying to capture the lightning uh, from underneath the awning there, and it was certainly out there this morning, but this year just rain. You can hear that wind whipping in the video. Oh yeah, it's gusty out there this morning. Gusts towards 40, even 45 miles per hour. There's a wind advisory in place for our shoreline communities this morning. And we are looking at heavy rain in spots and also some rumbles of thunder too. We'll take a tour of the satellite and radar currently where we are looking at, let's see. Oh, can we flip this? This is in my graphics. Yeah, there we go. I was like, all right, it is clicking. All right, thanks so much. All right, over in northwestern Connecticut right now, over in 202, we are looking at some downpours and then up to the north as well. We have some lightning strikes in southeastern Connecticut towards 395. Griswold, Norwich now looking at a downpour there. And then over in Brookfield, Danbury, Monroe also dealing with those downpours. Those vibrant colors of yellows and reds, indication of those more steady rains. Just back off to the south of us, though, take a look at all these lightning strikes. Within the last 10 minutes, about 27 lightning strikes in this cluster of thunderstorm that's going to push over Long Island within the next couple of minutes and may make it into our state, especially for central and eastern Connecticut by about seven o'clock. Looking at our gusts right now, they're up towards about 40 to 45 miles per hour. Take a look at Windsor Locks at 46 miles per hour. So it is a wind swept rain as well. You definitely want to hold on to your steering wheel as you're heading out this morning. Temperature wise 59, 62 degrees in Hartford. It's 59 in Torrington, 60 in New Haven, 62 in Bridgeport. And we do have some reduced visibility in spots and also that rain is going to make it hard to see out on the roadways. In addition to that, our numbers really are not fluctuating much over the course of the day today. I think the worst of the wind, the worst of the rain is wrapping up between about eight and nine o'clock. We will see drier conditions for a brief period of time before another rain shower arrives this afternoon. And for the weekend, it turns much cooler. We'll have those details, your weekend forecast coming up. Getting a check in on the roads this morning here. We don't have much to get to out on the roads, although you will have to be mindful of those tricky travels in those areas where we're seeing those downpours. 395 also dealing with a couple of delays this morning, and so we'll keep you posted on that. Otherwise, a live look outside 84 east and westbound over in Hartford. Volume is light at this hour at 603. Your drive time's there. Don't look too bad. Glass and to the Founders Bridge. Route 2 west, six minutes. Back to you. Alrighty, thank you, Rachel. People in Hartford getting ready for a huge celebration tomorrow morning. Yes, we are. The Yukon Huskies won back-to-back -back men's national championships here. And you know what that means? Thousands of people crowding our capital city for a victory parade and rally. Fox 61's Brooke Griffin joining us live now in Hartford. What you need to know if you'll be joining us out there for the parade. Hey, Brooke. Hey, good morning. It's quiet out here right now in front of the XL Center, but that's definitely not going to be the case tomorrow as they have the stage that's going to be set up right here out front on Trumbull Street and thousands of fans are going to come celebrate that victory with the team and the coach, of course. Now, if this is anything like last year's parade, that thing was huge. There were about 45,000 people packed along that route shoulder to shoulder. I mean, we were pretty much getting stepped on trying to be out here last year to get that parade. Now they're going 
going to all try to catch that glimpse of the team, the coach, everybody involved. I'm sure Jonathan, the Husky, is going to be back out here as well. That route will start at the Capitol, go under the arch around Bushnell Park and up to the Excel Center, where that large stage is going to be set up for the rally. The parade will step off at 11 o'clock. The road closures, though, will start as early as 9. Now, if you're heading here to take part of the festivities, police are urging you to get there early and find a parking spot to navigate those closures. The main spots to remember are Asylum and Pearl. Those will be closed from Maine to Anucello. All of Jewel and Trinity streets will be closed as well. And the biggest closure is Trumbull Street. That's from Pearl to Church. It's going to be from 9 a.m. to about 3 p.m. as there's also a home and garden show event happening here at the Excel Center at the same time. So a whole lot of people going to be roaming around downtown tomorrow, really throughout the day. Uh, looks like the weather's going to be pretty nice, so it should be a really, really big turnout. If you're not able to actually get here, though, we're going to be broadcasting that parade live. Again, it starts at 11 o'clock in the morning. We'll have reporters along the route showing you every step of the way. I'm sure it's going to be a lot of fun. Live in Hartford, Brooke Griffin, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station. Sanchez, myself, Jonah, Ryan, we will all be involved tomorrow morning for what will be a fantastic day. More with you throughout the morning. All right, 6.06 now. Some workers at the University of New Haven on strike this morning. Yeah, members of the union, Local 217, are fighting for better pay and job security. Box 61's Lindsey Kane joining us in New Haven with the details this morning. Good morning, Lindsey. Hi, good morning. About 35 union workers that have facility positions here at the university, ranging from cafeteria to janitorial jobs, are on strike. Now, they say they brought their picket signs to campus and walked off the job starting yesterday, fighting for a better contract. Local Union 217 is the union representing these employees. Now, it says it's frustrated with months of back and forth talks with the university regarding contracts and job security clauses. While job security is the group's major concern, it's also seeking better health insurance and workplace safety measures. Employees walked off their jobs again yesterday. The state comptroller and treasurer joined them on the picket line. And earlier this week, Lieutenant Governor Susan Beisowitz and state lawmakers joined the workers for a rally. The University of New Haven says it did offer employees a contract with more pay, better health insurance, and job security. The university says its newest offer includes layoff protection, a guarantee hours won't be reduced, better pay and benefits, but the union did not accept it. In a statement, the university says in part, should the facilities employees choose to strike and withhold services or take any other action that could impact university operations, the university is fully prepared to take the necessary measures to ensure continued successful operations, including maintenance of our facilities. Now, workers say the promise of no reduction in hours comes with an exception in a case of operational extenuating circumstances, as quoted in their contract. Now, workers are expected expected to continue their strike today. We'll keep you updated on air online and on Fox 61 plus as well. Live in New Haven this morning, Lindsay Kane, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station. Alrighty, thank you, Lindsay. We'll check back in with you later on this morning. 608 and new this morning out of Bristol. One person is in the hospital after they were hit by a car. Officers say the driver of that vehicle took off. Police say this all happened around 10 last night on Pine Street. The person was standing in the road when they were hit. Officers caught up to the alleged driver a short time later after being involved in another crash on Route 72. That driver is now in custody. Officers in New Haven are looking for those responsible for ransacking three businesses on Orange Street early yesterday morning. One of the businesses targeting Avena's Wine and Tapas, where it appears a man threw a brick right through a window. The restaurant's owner telling us they just opened about eight months ago. There's that object there. Uh, next door, someone smashed into the Elm City Games, then hit 9th Square Market. Owners say they're not letting the stolen cash or broken glass shatter their spirits. You know, it's certainly not something that's going to dissuade us from really loving our neighborhood and, uh, you know, the place we are. Love that attitude there. The business is telling us they're ready to reopen for customers. As for the break-ins, if you know anything about them or saw them happen, you're urged to call police. Well, this morning, grief counselors will be available for students and staff at Brantford High School after a student died in a crash on I-91 in New Haven. State police say the vehicle 17-year-old Isabella Osler was in crashed into a semi-truck on I-91 South near Exit 7 Wednesday night. 
Troopers believe the driver of the vehicle Osler was in, also a 17 year old, went into the right center lane while approaching a construction zone. Police say Osler was thrown from the vehicle and was pronounced dead at the hospital. A Brantford's superintendent of schools sharing a message to the school community yesterday, saying in part, quote, Isabella's caring and compassionate presence will be greatly missed by all those close to her. Please join me in extending sympathy and condolences to Isabella's family, end quote.